Hello everyone, welcome. This is Anchor Point Passions. I am Sarah Sherman and as you've noticed my scene has changed just a little bit and that is because in-campus school has closed due to the coronavirus so I will be making the most out of my living space at home. So today I wanted to talk to you about what to do when you're stuck at home. Archery edition. Alright guys, so I have come up with a ton of steps, as you can see, a whole list of steps here of things that you can do that are archery related when you are stuck at your house. The first step, and I think this is the number one step in everything archery, is to practice archery. Just go out there, go shoot. What I do, especially when we have really great weather, like we do here uh, in the springtime and it's nice and warm outside, is to go outside and shoot. Put a target in your backyard. It doesn't have to be a big target. I have a little block target, but it doesn't have to be a block target if you don't want to. If you have a 3D target, go shoot that. Sometimes whenever I didn't have a block target and I still wanted to shoot outdoor, I'd put an outdoor face on my 3D target and I'd still shoot with that. So make the best of what you have, go out and shoot. Now you could be saying, I don't have the space to shoot, let's say 50 meters. Well, not everyone's gonna have exactly 50 meters to shoot outside. You can always make do with what you have. So if you can put a target outside and you just shoot from five yards away, even closer, and you just get those reps in and you're doing a lot more than if you were just sitting and not practicing at all. The same goes for indoor. If you can't put a target outside, put in target inside. It doesn't have to be far away because again, it's just reps. Now you could also be saying, Sarah, I can't shoot inside. I can't put a target in my house. I can't shoot inside and I don't have the space or the means to shoot outside. So what do I do? Get a stretch band. Stretch bands are very cheap. You can buy them online if you want to. And really all you do is you'll get one stretch band. You can, you'll, they'll normally come in different weights. So you can pick out which uh, weight you want from your stretch band. You'll tie it together because it'll come one long piece and you just tie that together. You put the knot end on the hand that you hold your bow with. And then you take your other hand well, on the other side of the stretch band, pull it back. And suddenly you have a bow that you can work with and stretch the stretch band you can get your muscles moving, you can work on form, and you can get reps in as well. So that is number one, and that is to practice archery. All right guys, so my second step to you, that would be to check your equipment and or maintain your equipment. So when you find yourself in sort of like an off season and you have already went out and practiced and now you don't know what to do, a really good thing for uh, something to do is to check your equipment. I constantly will be out in the range and like I have zippers in my quiver that will sometimes unzip and things will fall out and I will need those on the range and suddenly I don't have that like string wax when it's raining. So go through your quiver, go through your release pouch, make sure that all the little odds and ends that you carry around with you are in there so the next time you do go out to shoot or the next time you do go out for a competition, all the things that you will need will be in there. Also, go through your bow case. Make sure that all of the things that you have and that you need for competitions and for practices are in your bow case so that you have all of your stuff right when you need it and it's all prepared and ready to go. Another thing is that I mentioned was not just to check your equipment, but it's also to maintain your equipment. So make sure that right now, if you need to get a new set of strings and put a new set of strings on your bow, you can do that now. Another thing that I have done that is on my list that I have written down is go out, fletch your arrows, make sure that they're all ready so the next time you wanna go out to shoot, you've got those ready to go. All right guys, so another part of our step two, which was in maintaining and getting equipment, is to maintain your targets and or get new targets. 
So for the maintenance part, I have this target right here. As you can see, it's been worn out from just, I've been, I've shot this so many times. This target really needs ma maintained. And the thing is, is I don't have to go out and get another target. So the company that actually makes these targets has a set that you can buy so that you can maintain your equipment and you won't have, or maintain your target and you won't have to buy a new target. So that's really nice so that you don't really have to buy a ton of targets. So make sure that whenever you look at your target, make sure that the company that you have bought it from, see if they have a pack or something that you can get so that you can maybe repair it a little bit and then you won't have to go out and buy a whole new target because targets are very expensive. Now, on the other hand, we have this target right here. It is, it's done. It just shot up, pieces coming out of it. I need a new 3D target. So this is the perfect, perfect time to go out get your new targets that you need like 3d targets if you need any new 3d targets this is the perfect time to maintain the targets that you already have if you can all right so that was our part of step two let's go on to step three is to read and i know you're thinking ugh, reading can be so boring especially for us students that it seems like all we do now is read and we're online reading and doing homework <laughs> but this is actually a really good read and this is with winning in mind. I highly suggest it. I am not sponsored by anything that has to do with this book. I am just a very huge fan. I read this book and my scores went up exponentially. It is an amazing book. It's written by Lanny Bassam. He's an Olympic champion and a two-time world champion. This book doesn't just help you in archery. It doesn't just help you in your sports area. This also helps you in your day-to-day -day jobs because it's all just mental training, how we think, and improving on that. Read. All right, guys, so tip number four is to watch YouTube. YouTube is an incredible platform where a ton of people get to share their information and their wealth of knowledge and put their input into the world. Just go watch, support the creators, yes. Also, another thing that I do to help get me inspired and, you know, take up a little bit of time when I'm, when I have some free time is to watch competitions that I love. If I wanted to watch the Vegas shoot all over, guess what? Go on YouTube, watch the Vegas shoot. If I really like the Lancaster Archery Classic Elimination, guess what? It's on YouTube. Go watch it. Get inspired. Hopefully, that'll bring you back to step number one. Go out and practice archery. So, those are my five steps to success. And because everyone stayed to watch my five steps, I've got a surprise for you. And that is... A box. Now we're at the unboxing special of this video. Yes, and ah! <laughs> all right. So this is a wonderful little box of Q2i archery veins. <sighs> so. If you guys haven't looked in my about info, I am actually sponsored by Key2i Archery. So I just got my veins from Key2i Archery and I wanted to kind of go over exactly what I have got so that maybe if you're like, hmm, I don't know what veins to use for this particular season, uh, you will know. So first out of the box, what will it be? The Fusion X2s. <sighs> And these are the 1.5s. So these are the veins that I use in my outdoor setups. So that would be my X10 Pro Tours. I use these handy dandy little Fusion X2s. So they are 1.5 inches and they are low profile as well. So that means that they will, whenever you come across wind or rain, when you're shooting outdoor, these dudes fly. I used these last year at Outdoor Nationals, Collegiate Outdoor Nationals in Dublin, Ohio. 
I'm pretty sure we had up to 60 mile per hour winds and I was still hitting tens. That is how these little guys cut through the wind. They are insane. I definitely suggest these. Next up from the box, what shall it be? These are the Raptex veins. They come in a size like wussy. I use these in 3D archery. They have medium length and they're also high profile. That really helps with 3D archery because you can come into contact with any different type of uh, weather condition outside because you can come into contact with wind that'll affect your arrow. You can come into contact with rain that'll also affect your arrow. So the smaller length fletchings are really great for that, but the high profile helps your arrow spin. You can gain more speed through that. And of course, speed is what you want in 3D archery, makes your arrows more precise. So, all right, so now we're on the last group of fletchings that I have ordered, and they are the Fusion X2 three inch veins. Here is the vein, and this is it compared to the Fusion X2 1.5 inch vein. So these are actually the same uh, style of vein. Uh, they're both the Fusion X2. This is just three inch. This is 1.5 and low profile. So I shoot this for indoor archery. I shoot an aluminum shaft. So one thing that's really great about these Fusion X2 um, and really all of the Q2i veins that you'll come into contact with if you were to buy them is that they are all very, very, very durable and they do not come off your arrows no matter what you put them on. If you put them on 3D arrow, you put them on your outdoor arrows, they will stay. All you have to do is glue them onto your arrow, fletch them up, and they are ready to go. Also, I wanted to demonstrate this as well because this is another thing I liked about Q2i's veins is that they are, they're stiff as you can see, but they also can bend as well. They're a really great vein. I really, really do highly recommend that you go out and get some of these guys. I shoot them for all seasons, outdoor, indoor, and 3D. So definitely check Q2i Archery out. They have a ton of veins. They have tons of sizes and they have lots of really great colors. Q2i Archery, thank you. So go out, check them out, go buy some veins. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helped you with what to do when you're stuck at home and you want to do something archery but you don't know what to do. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see those videos right when they come out, click the bell. Also, I have another challenge for you. If you have any tips or tricks that you do when you're at home and you want to do something but you don't know what to do archery related, please put that in the comments so we can all learn from your wealth of knowledge as well. So, as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye! I just recorded that. Well, I just did all of that without recording anything. All right. This bird is making so much noise because she wants attention. Here, I'd like to introduce you to our chicken. Say hello, Hunifer. Bok. Hennifer!